Good morning friends, welcome to my channel and we'll continue with the APM automation series. Okay, so uh, we ha in the last session we have uh, automated the source lab react application. Okay, and we faced some challenges while finding few locators. I hope uh, you have watched that and you are able to understand properly. And now we are going to uh, run the same uh, same APK via the code. Okay, so basically uh, I have stopped the APM server. Okay, uh, let me show you. Okay, so here is the APM server. So till now we are running this, right? We are running this particular APM server, uh, but this time we have stopped it. And just to show you, uh, this is the previous application. I will again run it, and it should not run this time. And let's see what what error we will come because we have stopped the APM server. See what error we are getting here okay so session not created okay could not start a new session why possible cause are invalid address of the remote server or the browser start of failure something okay so this uh, basically we are not able to create the session why because our apm server is not running so if we run this command apm and then the uh, our session will be created easily right so this is what happens if the apm server is not running okay so but in this particular we will run uh, apm server from within the code okay very few important things you need to make sure that your this path main.js and your node.exe path has been correctly set in the code okay let's see the node uh, so uh, whenever you are installing the node so node always go and get installed in, in, into the program files and node.js okay so here is the node.exe see here this is the application so node.exe you have to give this particular path as per your system and another very important thing is the app data so whenever you are installing the uh, apm so i hope uh, you are still remember you have followed the first chapter carefully and your apm has been installed properly so if if it has been installed properly it will always go to the app data make sure app data is visible to you because this is a kind of i think hidden folder just just check okay you may need to unhide it but if it's visible it's good to know good to go uh, app data roaming npm go to the roaming npm let's find npm go to npm then what node modules apm node modules uh, apm go here what else build lib go to the build okay go to the lib make sure the path is exactly this okay because I, I, uh, when I'm facing some problem I found that there are a lot of main.js in some other folder as well don't just look for the main.js okay just follow the exactly the same path okay here you will find main.js where it is here is a JavaScript file okay so we need to give path of this main.js in this path okay so copy this uh, path and paste it here okay what else uh, just for the log if if let's say uh, because you know uh, whenever you are running the apm lot of logs get generated so if you want to save all this thing because sometimes you whenever some problem comes we need to look in this logs so just give a uh, inside the source test resources create a folder log and just create a new file log uh, 2.txt or any 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 file name okay so if you go here uh, in the logs I have created a logs folder and here I just created one file so my all my logs will go inside this file okay so so a lot of previous let me delete and save okay so now this file is clear there is no data in this okay uh, and let me close this it will get automatically populated okay so this part is clear I hope you uh, right so if you are able to set these path correctly these three path now let's look at the code code is very simple you need to simply let me show you the import as well sometimes it helps you okay okay nothing major okay and uh, before that let me show you my pom file as well so in pom see i have added only two dependency remember you don't need to add any third dependency while working with apm only two one is java client the latest one i am using as of now this is the latest one uh, and only selenium support okay there are few things i am not able to recall but there are few things where we need selenium support okay and this is the latest one 
okay so just use two dependencies and that's it no need to use anything selenium java unnecessary things and this is just test ng and extend report okay so we'll in the later chapters we'll see all these things only these dependencies we need and now look at the code apm driver local service so you need to create apm driver local service you need to create a android driver as usual okay so look at here what we have done apm service builder so you need to create a builder first create an object of builder with apm js so just give the uh, js path file here uh, using driver executable here give the path of the node uh, uh, exe path this path using port any port you can give here generally apm run order 4723 so we are giving the default port here okay so local time zone something with argument you can pass this this flag uh, log file path with this particular flag you can pass the log file path so this is clear and with ip address okay so ip address will be your local host only okay no need to pass like wd slash hub i'm telling you from the start okay uh, first chapter that we don't need to pass this anywhere in apm2 okay and that's it build service and uh, just pass the builder and this server will be up and running okay so basically you have set up all the required things okay now you just need to uh, create get instance method you can create and if the server is uh, null then you just call this particular uh, set instance okay let's see okay so so i am calling basically uh, see i am calling this particular method here if and only if the server is null okay so if your apm is already running let's say you are working on big framework so if somewhere in some code already has been started so it will simply pass this particular server okay so only only in case of server is has not been started then only i will call this particular method otherwise no need to call this okay but in our case we are only dealing with one class so we know that our server is null so we will call set, set instance this particular method and here server will be uh, not up and running because server will start only if you call start method okay so server will be ready with all the required uh, conditions and all the required properties and once you call this particular method server will start okay so start server so so it's a good habit you know you create a different different method don't write each and everything in one common method no uh, it's always advisable you create a separate methods like start apm server stop apm server these two and this start will call uh, like get instance and guess get instance method will check whether the server is already running or not if not running it will call all these things otherwise it will simply pass on the server which is already running and uh, this way you can easily manage all the things okay and if you want to stop the server what are the what's the code if the server is not equal to null means server is already up and running then get the instance okay get the instance of the server and just stop it simple i hope this is clear right so you need to get the instance of this apm driver local services and you can start it and you can stop it okay so i hope these four methods this is the stop server code this is the start server code and this is just to check whether the apm is already up and running or not and this is the real code okay so set the instance so this the, there are four methods i have used okay so i hope this is clear to you and what else this is the, exactly the same method okay so which app is this uh, look like yeah so this is wrong let me remove this this is from the apk one okay so now this is exactly the same source lab app we click on the open menu we uh, click on the login we added username password and we click on the login button okay the, exactly the same method which we have seen in the previous uh, class and now just i'm calling this particular method and then and, and i'm stopping the server at the end okay so i'm starting the server i am stopping the server and in between our code is coming okay so you need to take care of this uh, right click and run run as java application now let's focus here because let me uh, open this and emulator as well okay see now the apm server will start here 
and once the APM will see the APK has been opened and it will click on the login username password and login logged in done and stopped APM server so APM server has been stopped run has been finished okay so see this many log had been generated to start the server here so welcome to APM this so exactly the same message is coming which we used to get uh, in the get bash yeah so starting APM server you can see this is the URL all these logs you can see so starting this uh, this one these are the capabilities which we have passed so uh, all the complete logs you can see here right so this way uh, you can start the APM server and you can stop and you can see our APM is we have not started here so this is still stopped okay we have not started it uh, but so this way you can easily start the server automatically via the code this is really important because when you work on the frameworks when you have to run on the ci cds you have to start apm server this way okay for the demo purpose or on maybe on the local whenever you are working on the local you can use you can start apm server from yourself but whenever you are going for the ci cd all those things so this is what you need to use huh, that's it i think uh, that's it and this is for this apk in the next chapter we'll we'll see uh, some more apks and how to use crawling long press and different different functionalities yeah so i hope you enjoyed this particular uh, chapter and see you in the next chapter till then thank you guys keep learning and keep enjoying your day